Hello, my name is Nikolai Poznikov and today I want to show you a Microsoft Excel auto format toolbar that I have created that would help you format Excel files automatically. Let's open an Excel file and take a look at it. Here is an ex sample Excel file that I've downloaded from the internet that has uh, some addresses, phone numbers and emails. If I'd like to print this file to either paper, PDF or to a TIFF format, I will have a few issues with it. Um, some of the issues is there are cells that will be truncated because one column overlaps with another. Let's go into a print preview and take a look at the way this file looks if we were to print it as is. So as I mentioned before, we have um, cutoff columns. We also have this document in a portrait format, which uh, is not usually a preferred format. U usually landscape would be a better option for Excel file. In addition to, we don't have any row and column headings. So if we were to print this out and look at the various pages of a document, we don't know where those pages are coming from. Let's take a look at the page setup. Here you see that the paper size is set to be an A4 format, which is not something we would want to use. And if we go ahead and look in the sheet options, you'll see that the default print order is down and over. And normally most people prefer over than down. So let's see what we can do to fix this. I'm going to go ahead and click on Excel Auto Format tab and this will show us all the options that we can apply to each and every sheet in this Excel file automatically. So we're going to send our orientation landscape, zoom to 75%, paper letter, and we're going to set up some other options such as clear print area which will um, remove a preset print area that user may have created uh, when they were printing documents last. It's a good option to clear print area because if user may not have printed out the entire file and they only selected a small portion to be printed so we're going to clear that out. We're also going to turn on grid lines, force the file to be black and white, print out row and column headings and set a very important option that would say over then down. We're also going to apply a few um, unhide options. We're going to unhide sheets, rows and columns that user may have hidden and we are going to auto size the columns to make sure all data fits. Once I'm happy with my options I'm going to click on apply formatting but before I do make a note there are only three sheets on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click apply formatting and the toolbar will automatically go ahead and format all the sheets. Now, I have an error message. Error message says some options could not be set. Please review log for more options or for more info. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to get my uh, formatting log. So this will tell us what has been done and whether the operation was successful or not. And in this case, I chose an odd printer driver on my computer so that I could show you what the failure looks like. So if you look at the log it says we've been working on this worksheet and these are the operations that have completed successfully but one of the operations such as setting DPI to 300 had failed because my printer doesn't support 300 DPI and this is fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. So let's take a look at the bottom and you see that we have a fourth worksheet called hidden sheet and this is what has been uh, revealed by running the process. So let's take a look at the print preview now and see how it's different. You see that columns have been resized to accommodate all the information, row and columns have been turned on and this file looks like in a good shape to be printed. And if we were to look at any other worksheet you'll see that all of the same options have been applied to that worksheet as well. So it's one click of a button will format all the worksheets in your Excel. Thank you for watching and check out my website 
edg-tools.com for other tools and utilities.